Meta has just dropped a bombshell in the AI world with their latest release, the Llama 3.1 AI model, and it's pretty groundbreaking. Whether you're a developer, a techie, or just someone who loves cutting-edge technology, this is one release you won't want to miss. Buckle up as we dive into what makes Llama 3.1 a true beast in the AI world. Meta has been gaining a lot of attention with its Llama models for a while, but with Llama 3.1, they've really upped their game. The star of this release is obviously the 405B model, which is touted as the world's largest and most capable open AI model, and it's setting some serious benchmarks in the industry. The Llama 3.1 405B model packs a whopping 405 billion parameters. Now, to put that in perspective, parameters are like the brain cells of AI models. The more you have, the smarter and more capable your model can be. Meta trained this model on over 15 trillion tokens, which are essentially fragments of words, phrases, figures, and punctuation. This colossal training required the equivalent of 38 4 million GPU hours and produced the equivalent of 11,390 tons of CO2 emissions. It's a massive undertaking, but the results speak for themselves. Now, this model has been trained on 16,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. These are top-of-the-line GPUs that are essential for handling the immense computational load required to train such a large model. Despite its size, Meta claims that the Llama 3.1405B can go head-to-head -head with some of the biggest names in AI, like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. That's a bold claim, but Meta's experimental evaluations suggest it's competitive across a range of tasks, from generating prose to answering chat responses. One of the most exciting parts of Llama 3.1 is that it's open source. This means anyone can use, change, and improve the model. This has many benefits, like letting more developers and companies create new tools, services, and apps. It also makes the technology easier to access for different uses, from school research to business products. Meta has also updated their smaller Llama models, the 70B and 8B versions. These models now support eight languages, English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. They also have a bigger memory, which can hold up to 128,000 tokens. This bigger memory is helpful for tasks that need a lot of information, like writing long summaries or helping with coding. One of the challenges with running such a large model like the 405B is the hardware requirements. At 405 billion parameters, it requires roughly 810 GB of memory to run at the full 16-bit precision it was trained at. This is more than a single NVIDIA DGX H100 system, which has eight H100 accelerators in a box, can handle. To address this, Meta has released an 8-bit quantized version of the model, which cuts the memory footprint roughly in half. Quantization is a technique used to reduce the precision of the model's parameters, which makes it more efficient to run without significantly impacting performance. Let's discuss why this matters for developers and organizations. The open source nature of Llama 3.1 means they can train, fine tune, and adjust their own models. This flexibility is important because different organizations have different needs. Some might need small models for simple tasks, while others might need larger models for more complex tasks. With Llama 3.1, you can use advanced models, train them with your own data, and adjust them to the right size for your specific use. Meta is working with companies like Amazon, Databricks, and NVIDIA to help developers fine-tune and adjust their models. Groke has built low-cost, fast services for using these new models. These models will be available on major cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, Google, and Oracle. Companies like Scale AI, Dell, and Deloitte are ready to help businesses use Llama and train custom models with their own data. This teamwork will help make Llama the industry standard and bring the benefits of AI to everyone. Meta's commitment to open source is driven by several factors. First, it ensures that they always have access to the best technology and are not locked into a competitor's closed ecosystem. This is crucial for Meta, 
especially given the constraints they faced with platforms like Apple. By building an open ecosystem, Meta and other companies can innovate more freely without being restricted by arbitrary rules and constraints imposed by closed platforms. Second, open sourcing Llama allows for a more competitive AI landscape. AI development is highly competitive, and open sourcing a model doesn't give away a massive advantage because the field is constantly evolving. By consistently releasing competitive, efficient, and open models generation after generation, Meta can ensure that Llama remains at the forefront of AI development. Third, selling access to AI models isn't Meta's business model. This means that openly releasing Llama doesn't undercut their revenue or ability to invest in research. This is a significant advantage over closed model providers who rely on selling access to their models for revenue. Finally, Meta has a long history of successful open source projects. They've saved billions of dollars by releasing their server, network, and data center designs with the Open Compute project and have benefited from the ecosystem's innovations. Projects like PyTorch and React have become industry standards, and Meta aims to achieve similar success with Llama. Open source AI is also beneficial for the world. It ensures that more people have access to the benefits and opportunities of AI, prevents power from being concentrated in the hands of a few companies, and promotes the even and safe deployment of AI technology across society. There is a debate about whether open source AI models are safe, but Meta thinks they are safer than closed models because they are more transparent and can be reviewed by many people. Meta tests Llama thoroughly and uses safety systems like LlamaGuard to make sure it is used responsibly. Since these models are trained on information already available online, they are not more harmful than what can be found on search engines. Meta believes that having AI widely available makes the world safer because bigger organizations can control smaller, harmful ones. Open source gives everyone access to similar models, keeping things balanced. Some think closing models are needed to stop countries like China from accessing them, but Meta disagrees. They believe this would hurt the United States and its allies. Instead, Meta supports building a strong, open ecosystem and working with the government and partners to stay ahead and make sure the latest advancements are available to those who need them. The Llama 3.1 release isn't just about the new models. It's also about the bigger picture Meta is creating. They've introduced a reference system with sample apps and tools, like Llama Guard 3 and Prompt Guard. They're also asking for feedback to improve the Llama setup and create standard ways to build and use these tools. Meta's strategy is similar to how Linux became popular by being open and affordable. They believe AI will follow the same path. By supporting open source AI, Meta wants to build a strong ecosystem that helps everyone, from small startups to big companies and governments. With Llama 3.1, Meta is not just advancing AI, but also pushing for a more open and collaborative future, aiming to make open source AI the new standard. What do you think about Meta's latest release? Are you excited about the possibilities? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech updates and deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.